What craziness do we find ourselves doing? For hark, what strange Seattle bells toll. <laughs> I have no idea if this is coming through. I have no idea if this is working. But I'm going on a teeny tiny adventure. The internet is entirely and royally screwed at the moment. Um, with like DNS issues and shite like that. So I'm walking down to Georgetown. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's probably going to be something slightly impromptu. Wow. It only just exited host mode after I beasted that rhyme. Now I feel bad. Now I feel exceptionally bad. Gosh, I'll probably give you guys a... Actually, no, I'll get to the bridge. Hey! How's it going, Tull? <laughs> How's it going? Um, sorry, I was having a little sing-song to myself there. I'm just saying that... Yeah, the internet is royally and entirely fucked. So I am walking down to Georgetown. And I guess I get to show you guys a little bit of uh, my local area. It's probably going to be broken signal and ridiculousness. It's probably going to be some crazy-ass fuckery. But there we go. Uh, God, I have to, like, shield my... So, Chia! How you doing, yo? Out from the deluge! What ho, walking William! What ho to your fecking selves! There's probably going to be a lot of cussing, because I just have... I, I will level with your lovely selves. I've had an exceptionally bad morning, and uh, it's. I, I should not look at uh, chatting with you lot as a as a crutch of sorts, but yeah, yeah. I had my little heart set and streaming for you all today, and I guess I'm getting to do it now. <laughs> oh bloody hell! All right, all right. Aspects, knock it off. <laughs> so, aspects. Cheers for the sub, yo. Uh, I can't see if you if you throw bits if you donate uh, I can just about make it out if someone subscribes or resubscribes or whatever so you are all hear me now you are all forbidden from subs bits donations you are forbidden it is not allowed I will be exceptionally grumpy so anyway what's that I have to keep stopping and looking so we're walking. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> I'm being a feckin' dork. Oh, I'm so glad Discord interrupted me talking to you lot to tell me that I'm talking to you lot. Uh, how do I feckin' I don't saw? Uh, no. So, stealth bits for the day. Stealth bits for the day. Now, feck off. <laughs> As I continue to goon at people as I walk around town. Um, so I can't tell if you lot do uh, if you lot do cool kid things. I can't tell. So that is why you are forbidden from doing cool kid things. Uh, so who we got? We got Ten Win says what? Oh, Will online phone. Will is here. Johnny says sub uh, sub Bob. Johnny no. <laughs> Captain Steph Barnes in two months. God darn it! Okay, but... <clears throat> what did I tell you all about doing the thing with the thing? Don't do the thing! Alright. So, I'm going to switch to, to front cam. Because we're going to go to the cool part now. Alright. Okay, this doesn't look very cool, but... Basically... I'm going to get to show you all some fucking bits of my little world. So, this would usually be my walk down from Kett's house down to, to Georgetown. Now, Georgetown is a, a cool, quaint little setup. Uh, used to be, I guess, like industrial metalworks type area part of Seattle. And then. Oh, God, God damn it, Kett! Hang on, hang on, hang on. God damn it, Kett, what did I just say? No subscriptions! Mmm! See my face? My face goes, mm -hmm. All right, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, walking through the spooky tunnel. So, Ten Wind says, right, got their email today. Tomorrow I join the Dual Universe Alpha. Uh, I couldn't read the end of that because Hindle's doing the, what did I just tell you guys? Bastards. Lovely, lovely bastards. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I can make out 
I can make out subs that Lizzie, you can't tell me what not to do. Uh, I apologize for the shakery. Yeah, so I can just about make it out if some of you sub, but only just. Right. So yeah, uh, to those who have just joined us, uh, it is not a problem with the rig, it is not a problem with Ket Internet, uh, the internet provider, CenturyLink, which has usually been feckin' phenomenal, like above and beyond Comcast, has, uh, is having like crazy ass fucking DNS issues and shit. So, like, we can get online-ish, we can watch YouTube but not do a lot of other things, and streaming, Cut, Aaron! Cut! <laughs> Aaron says, oops, guess I have to wait till next year to actually follow instructions. Like you lot are going to start doing what you're told. <laughs> I like as if somehow 2019 is going to magically make us into a... Uh, I love you lot. Uh, I don't know if my little camera is going to be good enough, but the mountain's out. Right, so... Hang on, let me take a couple more steps. Okay, so... This is part of the view on my walk down. So off there, way in the distance, uh, that's the docks there. And kind of round that away, oh wait, no, so round about like this away. Shackle to Curtis, what are you doing? Uh, round this away is like the stadium and stuff. Tells like, uh, can we make Will cry in public now? <laughs> Shackle. It's not like I could not, not resub. You're all terrors. You're all a bunch of terrors. So, yeah, got some cool, I've got some cool trades. I fucking love trades! Yeah. <clears throat> love trades. I think it might be because tra- <laughs> Is that? The RC pose, dang, it's been a month already. <laughs> Who's telling me to jump on the train? I'm not jumping on the bloody train! Fucking terrors. Not jumping on the bloody train! as the white balance freaks out because I'm so feckin' pale. Yes, I never, I never bother bringing sunglasses with me. That would be sensible. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so sadly we did not get to play Broken Reality today, which was a gifted game and developed by a cool ass feckin' um, indie team. And it's like some trippy ass, like, you know, if William Gibson was huffing Vaporwave for a feckin' age. Um, we are still gonna play it and I'll reschedule it for next week and get the devs on. Uh, Wraith, God darn it! Ryzen, we said, uh, I'd like to remind you. Uh, green fire. Do I see a noodly Viking? Did you see a noodly Viking getting fed a cooking show yesterday? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Aaron! God darn it! <laughs> Ten win with drop the phone! Drop the phone! I'm not dropping the phone! It might be an old piece of crap, but I can't afford a new one. <laughs> Check it out. The Elysium Brewery. My baby. Makes me my space dust. Actually, I'll go on down, because they've got these really cool paintings on the side of them. So, yeah. Anyway, let me stop fecking around on the bridge. Let's get to the good bits of Georgetown before I start boring you all to feckin' tears. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what the status is going to be tomorrow for Alien Isolation. God, I hope everything's working. Yes! I don't know if you all heard that, but that dude was blasting uh, Moon, one of the tracks from Hotline Miami, while cycling down the hill. God, I love Seattle. All right, all right, hang on. Let's, let's swap out from Will's stupid ass face. Lizzie's giving away, Lizzie! You're giving away subs! I can't even see who you're. So, this is just a reminder to everyone who's joined. My internet is hard fucked. Proper hard fucked. My internet is hard fucked. So, I've decided to walk down to Georgetown and show you feckin' Seattle. So hopefully that'll be cool. I can't see any alerts. I can't hear any alerts. I got no idea what's going on, all right? So you are all forbidden from, oh, check out, lovely trees. Lovely trees. Uh, you are all forbidden from subbing, donating, or giving bits. You are forbidden. It is not allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed, all right? 
I'll know. Actually, I won't know, that's the problem. So Elysium Brewery, the creators of Space Dust, my go-to get wrecked. Check these out. Giant laser tiger. It's a laser tiger on a thing. I've lost chat, I can't see it. There we go, you're back, you're back. <laughs> Who's that uh, Tenwin saying, Will, resist the urge to punch trees? I am, I am hurt and offended by that. Hang on, I need to cross over here. I need to cross over. Aaron says, uh, should I throw flags today? No! <laughs> I told you, you are all forbidden from giving bits or donating or subscribing, but you'll keep doing it anyway. You're, it's forbidden. I all know, friends. I all know. I try not to put my finger over the feckin' cameras. Uh, right. So, let me show you some of... Wait. I'll show you some of the adventures. Hang on, let me... Bloop. Check it out. And there's a sign that tells you you're in Georgetown. In case you were in Georgetown. This is the point, uh, this is the area where me and Caffeine and uh, ended up drinking a whole bunch. And uh, me and Ket come down here for, for burgers. Instead of good old negative breakfast. Take a step back so I don't get my arm torn off. Who's that saying? Spiller says month two is a go. What are you up to, Spiller? What are you up to? Cheeky mother hubbards. I, I, I. I'm gonna do some road crossing now. Try, to... yay! Try not to get myself run over. Anyway, there's a couple little places I want to show you this way, and then we'll spin back around and we'll check some stuff out. So, uh, the other thing is the games industry is on fire today. Bethesda's fecking up in about seven different ways. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, Bethesda's fucking up in about seven different ways. Uh, Starbreeze has been raided by police um, with a worry of uh, insider trading. Uh, what else have we going down? Soldier Boy is releasing an emulation console, which is the shiftiest shit I've heard of in a while. Ooh, check it out. Uh, a place of cursed objects. Hang on. Oh, just says, it just says death to high rollers. Eat the rich. Okay, so in true Georgetown fashion, check out this little place. It's like a cool little, Like a little furniture store, I guess specialising in, I don't know, cursed objects, things from, from village, villainous places. Uh, Johnny's saying, Will, give us a twirl. Just in general, or? Oh, hang on, let me show you guys the, the front of this place as well, because there's a few, like, restored cool places, and this cool looking dresser, but all you can see is the tiger. The majestic tiger. All right. <laughs> Bal's like, that's cracking green screen. Yeah, Bal, it right is. Uh, I don't think there's anything down that way. I don't think there's anything down that way. There's like a tattoo parlor and stuff. Honestly, if I'd had more technical problems than this, I was just going to go be fiscally incredibly irresponsible and just go get a longship tattoo. I still might, I still might. Is that a sensible idea? No. Am I, I mean, it would, it would be fiscal insanity for me to go get a tattoo today, but I'm genuinely considering it because I was kind of having one of those feck the entire world type mornings. Uh, so Alpha's saying, cursed objects, items must be from villainous places. I must visit immediately. Well, or, it doesn't have to be villainous. Um, areas with great uh, emotional turmoil or, I have no idea. All right, so hang on, let me flip you around. I got no idea what this place is. It says gallery, and it's got like kind of, this little guy's hanging out. It's cute little kind of biro skulls. What's going down? Uh, I don't know if those animal skulls are real or not, but they look cool as heck. Um, 
Bram says, will we have such a healthy lifestyle without um, internet? Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do is actually walk around, not just this city, but cities. Like, I used to do it a lot around about London. And one of my favorite things while I was working and traveling would be whenever I got to a new city, I'd just go for a walk. And usually, it's a fucking good idea. Don't do it in San Francisco, because you'll walk into the Tenderloin like a right bell end, which is what I did. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'll show you all the trailer park mall as well, when I get the chance. And I can show you these cool busted out um, American cars. Tenwin says red nukes incoming. Oh, God darn it! And Shackle's saying, so, share the news. What's Bethesda done today? Um, so on the good side, uh, Bethesda have said that they're going to be replacing the nylon bags with canvas bags as advertised, which is a good thing because, you know, when it comes to physical goods, advertising standards will be on you like hot heck on heck. Um, it's... Like, a lot of advertising standards agencies don't understand video games, which is fair. Like, they're old and, they're, they're from the old world. But when it comes to, hey, I advertised a canvas bag and I got given a plastic bag, they're like, this is our wheelhouse. Uh, however, Bethesda also rolled out a patch today, trying to get hold of uh, whatever bugs they want to squish in 76. And unfortunately, the new patch ended up making it so guns don't work. So that's the thing. All right, if it's not too, too sunny, it is way too sunny. Check out these fucking, check out these cars. I just fucking love cars, me. I guess it's more for the, the non Americans, but they got all these kind of like old junkers. And I don't know, like the Fallout, the Fallout 2 person in me wants to convert one of these and just going off on mad adventures with dog meat. Like, check these out. Fucking rad. Uh, so Georgetown hasn't quite been as hella gentrified as some parts of the world. You know, used to be steelworks, steel mills kind of type stuff, so far as I understand. But yeah, there are a few tech companies around this way and there are a few uh, fancy operations. But there's still like some punk ass mother hubbards and some really cool places. I mean, I'm spoiled because like this is just down the road from where I'm at. And who's showing up? Uh, Shackle says, so it's the Pacific patch. <laughs> Lizzie says, uh, uh, Will, it cannot be too sunny you'll burst into flames. Ah, no, but the icy, icy powers cease. Uh, Unsung says, uh, forgot to say, I turned 26 yesterday. Nice. Uh, my advice, Unsung, is uh, don't you give a shit about turning 30, because you basically get all your 20s powers, but with more money and more abilities, or less money and more abilities in my case. Uh, I feel like this one is super relevant for some peoples. The flying squirrel. <laughs> it's flying squirrel pizza. Uh, the reason I'm not uh, giving you a gander into the windows is I don't want to put your face in someone. Hello. Uh, I don't want to put your face into someone who's having their pizza. You know, even I've got some decorum. Ooh, who wants to see a creepy, slightly dismembered doll? When Echo is asking, oh, Greek yogurt. How delicious. Oh, Shackle meant to say the pacifist patch. Damn it, that joke's way better. Welcome to Homer Street. So, this is the Georgetown Trailer Park. Uh, it's open on Saturdays and Sundays, so usually when I'm streaming or hanging out. Uh, I don't know if you can all see that. Uh, that's a dismembered baby. It's done, it burns us. Sop up, sunflowers. Alrighty, so these, uh, the trailer parks aren't open at the moment. So again, I don't want to go like knocking on doors and windows whilst uh, people might be sleeping or ready to kick my ass. But it's a cool little spot, yo. <laughs> Aaron says, uh, maybe you should make Will a don't worry, I'm streaming shirt. Uh, now, this, this is the Star Brass Lounge. Uh, the bartender is stonking, the burgers are phenomenal. So a lot of times when I've been finishing streams late, hang on, let me, let me spin around because I want to talk to you a lot. With my humid face. 
Uh, a lot of the times I've been finishing streaming in the evenings, it's, there aren't that many places open and you just, sometimes you want a burger. Now what's interesting about this place is that it's, you know, kind of an atypical bar. It's got some cool history, like this actually used to be a place that made valves, which makes me laugh no end, um, which I actually took one of the people from Valve out while we were drinking, but that's not the story. Um, and like a lot of places in the US, like they'll serve food until like one in the morning, but usually they do what's called like a reduced menu. So they'll do like tavern burgers, fries, maybe like something vegetarian and that'll be about it. Thing is, this place, the tavern burgers are above and beyond what they have any right to be. They're so good, they're so good. And yet, and feckin' yet. Um, but as it's like barely sun over the yard arm, I don't quite want to go get a beer in just yet. So let me flip you around again. But yeah, so that is Starbrass Works. Because it confused me for a while that it's called Starbrass Works, not Brass Star. As in like, um, what's the term? Uh, oh, this place is quite fancy. Check it out. It's a theater and an art bar. That's bloody, that's bloody marvelous, that is. Um, but. Let's continue adventures. There we go. Um, Cause I thought star brass is in like cowboy spurs and all that. No, it's, um, that's the name of the brass works that used to be there, which is pretty feckin' cool. All right, little bit of a barbecue. Uh, so jumping back in, uh, Timwin's saying, God damn it, now I want burgers. Dude, you really do. So Timwin, all you need to do is uh, take over the world and make an inordinate amount of cash. And then you can just take a plane over and we'll get burgers. It's easy. Unless Rhymes and Moose takes over the world first, in which case it'll be the next one. Greenfire says, I've deployed the magic spoon of uh, reaching to teach your internet a lesson. Get it to cooperate. Use it wisely. Well, you know what they say, with great power comes shenanigans. Probably should have listened to the, 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 last, the end of Uncle Ben's uh, phrase on that one. Specialty beer and wine store? God, you can tell I haven't been down here in the day. Hang on, let me, let me give you all a, a, a flipsies. This place looks pretty rad. Full throttle bottle. Now, I'm always a fan of something that's got like a nice portmanteau to it. I appreciate this. Hey, Reflective, how are you doing? Let me flips around. I'm trying to be a mildly responsible uh, waffle man, sir, so I'm not sticking a camera in people's faces. Um, but this place is pretty cute. So this is a dog's dream, little uh, Georgetown pet store, but I've got to show you all this. I've got to show you all this. Caring for your demon cat. What's that, little Jenny? Little Mittens has just vomited up some sulfur. Lovely. Uh, and my dog is smarter than the Esident. I'm not sure who the Esident is. But look, little punk kitty. Mm. <laughs> if my dog doesn't like you, I probably won't either. That is one of the best barometers. And also kind of turn it stuff dog so hang on let me take a step back so you can get a better look uh, and it's got this cool as heck um, like rust style again as for some reason lovely people continue to keep joining us I do want to say I can't hear your alerts and I can't see them I can see some chat as it's zipping by and you know I love talking to you lot so if you you are all you are all forbidden from subscribing, donating, or giving bits today. These, th these three things you are forbidden from doing today. Also, check out my speed loop. Nice. You are forbidden. And, to, oh, oh, if I find out, if I find out, oh, so help me. Um, so here we have another little spot. Oh, nice little, welcome to Georgetown, Seattle's oldest neighborhood. Uh, I was informed, and whether this is true or not, I don't know, that, uh, uh, Georgetown was outside of city limits, and this used to be the uh, the red light, uh, the red light dink, uh, dink, dink street, 
I remember when I used to be able to use words, the red light district kind of area of Georgetown, which resulted in it being um, less than reputable. Now, this was one little thing, making sure I'm not flashing. So this is cool. So got this little statue here and people will come and leave genuine little offerings, like not a lot of cash, but people will leave like a few coins and food and stuff like that. And I think that's really heckin' cool. Sorry. And as it's above the yoga smith, which is basically, I think, like a, um, uh, a, monk, uh, a monk fight build. And of course, the atypical. <laughs> Aaron says, what's this bidding? Hindle saying, come and get me. Reflectives, come fight me. Well, Reflective, unless uh, your mate is a stop sign, I might actually stand a chance. And then there's cool graffiti. Just as soon as the sun gets out of my face. Alrighty. Burb. Greetings, burb. And then we've got some cool spray paint stuff over there. So as we continue into the heart of Georgetown. Um, so I tell you what, I'm going to show you the, the outside of the nine pounds and a uh, the outside of the fanographics, because I haven't asked any of the store owners if they mind me going in or if it's okay. And it's not that I feel like anyone would be perturbed, but I like this area. These are good peeps. They feed me. <laughs> they feed me and they give me beer, so I try to be good to them. Okay, so first up on the docket, we've got Georgetown Records. And hang on, let me get around. Uh, Fantagraphics. Now this is a stonking style um, vinyl record shop and comic store, but not uh, atypical kind of, hang on. Not a typical kind of, um, oh, you can hear the tunes coming from it. Uh, not a typical style, um, uh, comics as in like, you know, Batman, Spider-Man, no caped stuff. And also very little of the indie, so you won't find image stuff in there. What you will find is lots of the kind of um, the super like political, art house, emotional craziness. You know, the kinds of stuff that you tell people about and they go, oh, I'll read that. They never read it. Uh, Reflector says, oh my God, speaking of ducks, uh, Mutant Year Zero, has anyone seen this? I told you all about this at GDC. I got hands on. The fun thing about Mutant Year Zero, it's actually being made by a team of peeps who are all like ex AAA. So they're all like 10 year vets. A bunch of people who'd previously worked on um, uh, the Hitman franchise. Um, and they're pretty feckin' cool. Right, so this is what some would describe as the kind of the heart of Georgetown area. The nine pound hammer. A behemoth of drinking and a positively punk, uh, what's the word? A positively punk proliferation of, of booze and otherwise. Hang on, let me see if I can get a, a window in because I don't think anyone's, let's see if they're open. Now this is uh, the gaff that me and uh, caffeine ended up drinking in a whole bunch. So you can't quite make it out because of reflections. Um, so, yeah, and also we're just coming up on uh, the, the diner next door. Uh, so this gaff is the Square Knot, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal breakfast setup. Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a lap of, because I wanna show you all the uh, pinball place where I'm probably gonna kill some time later today. Uh, ice critters, did I hear, see no bits allowed earlier? God damn it, I'd give you one instruction. Uh, that's it. Um, and jumping back onto the conversation, so Mutant Year Zero does look really interesting, and I'm looking forward to tearing into it. Uh, I've got a contact with the dev team, but I've just been... Oh, that's quite cool. Uh, but I've just been swamped under everything forever. Brass tracks. That is all painted as heck. <laughs> Reflective, are you posting... Are you posting the links to the places? That's really cool, thank you, dude. Um, although, I will say, if it gets to the point where you lot are coming down to Seattle, you've got to bloody call me so we can actually go and hang out. Like, 
I am not. Oh man, I'm stifling some burps there. If you're coming down this way, then we'll go to these places and either, you know, I'll have done everything I set out to do with wild conquest and our stream shall be one of the most mighty, or I'll punch a pint and some food off of someone. It's one or the other. Sorry, uh, to, to punt in English isn't meaning to, uh, uh, to, no, beg's the wrong word. It's actually a term I should really stop using in my lexicon. I've been, yeah, yeah, I need to get rid of that one. Here's a fancy guitar, fancy guitar store. They got the bars on the windows. That's how you know it's good. As we're walking around, uh, some, I don't know, gentrified design firmy thing. I don't know what this is. The guy's looking at me. That guy's just fecking around on Facebook. Oh, look out the sun. It gads. Oh, though, check out the town hall. Pretty styling, right? Uh, Lizzie says, I cannot say. Uh, I cannot say that if I were to come to Seattle, I would definitely not tell you and try and rope you and Echo into a surprise during something a stream. Hmm. Well, we've got a whole year. I ain't planning on stopping this nonsense anytime soon. And I will say that having now spent a little bit of time chatting and hanging out with you all, I'm feeling loads better. Like, if I'd, if, uh, it's been, it's been a hard couple of days. It's been a hard picking year. <laughs> it's been a hard year. But I think we've all, 2018 is going to be that one that everyone's like, yeah, I fucking survived that one. I posted up a little video in the Human Maintenance channel, if you saw it, from uh, People Watching, which is an incredible series. Uh, if you get a chance to watch it, I wholeheartedly recommend it. And the title of the video is uh, like Why Nostalgia is BS, which looks like your atypical clickbaity and shenanigans, but in actuality, it's really cool. Right, we're heading towards glass blowing. Um, I have no idea what this place is called. Lorena's Kitchen. This place looks funky. I probably remember to eat. Got some sweet ass nativity stuff going on. Uh, and Bramps, uh, yeah, thank you for putting up that Englishism there. Uh, again, I do feel that it's one of those terms that I'd need to take out of my lexicon, and I've been doing better about removing these things, but you know how it is. You know how it is. Oh, let me uh, swap round. Hey. So, then there's this little gaff. I actually, <laughs> sun, it burns me. This is what I do for you people. All right, so then there's this place, wherever it is. Uh, I've not had the chance to go here yet because uh, in the evenings it tends to be an event hire space and it looks really cool. Actual seaplane. I'm getting buzzed by an actual seaplane. Um, what was I fecking going on about? Uh, I forget. Oh yeah, cool kid places. Uh, also, so this little street here, that ah, fucking sun. Um, so this little street area here was the precursor to breaking my hand. Hang on, let me flip it around because it's quite, it's actually quite a nice little spot. So you got like this little, little trees here and stuff like that. Um, and yes, it is under an atypical pass here, uh, but this is where I ended up drinking after the nine pound hammer a couple weeks back. And this was, the little bit before going off to go get my hand riggedy wrecked. I do like this place. So, over there, uh, stonkingly good pizza place. Uh, I've not been to Hitchcock, which I should really go to for just for the puns alone. Ah, and there's this establishment. Uh, I don't know if this uh, if this joke carries internationally, but there's a term in Seattle called the Seattle Freeze, which is people being a little bit chilly, uh, which to Brits, honestly, not a problem. And this local establishment is Seattle Freeze, an ice cream and donuts gaff. And I am genuinely, genuinely considering grabbing a donut, but not before I show you this gaff. This, my dear friends, is Flip Flip. And every time I've been like, ah, I gotta go down to, gotta go down to, ah, feckin' sun, what is going on? Me burning. 
There we go, that's better. Uh, so every time I've been saying I'm going to go down to Seattle, sink a point, play some pinball, I've been coming here. This place is feckin' cool. And I've got to admit that the fact that there is a pinball place nearby is something that I'm genuinely coming to terms with how awesome that is. Um, like, there, there is a professional pinball league around here. What is that? Like, what does that even look like? What does a professional pinball tournament look like? So yeah, I actually do have my sack of quarters with me and I reserve the right to, to get stuck in on that one. Uh, but I don't know how fun that would be for you lot to see. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you a clear view on this one. Uh, can't really see heckin' much. No, I'm sorry. Okay, so let me take a step back so you can at least see some of it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so this is the glass blowing ga uh, studio and gallery, the Rainier Glass Studio. And I've watched them do some stuff in here and it's feckin' cool. Like there's a certain amount of smugness of being like, oh, what am I gonna do on my day off? Oh, well, I'll just walk down the road and watch some people blowing some glass, I guess. That's the thing that they do. Oh, and All City Coffee, where I have been consuming much written media and the sandbox, and greetings from Georgetown. Oh, he fell over there. Uh, so yes, this little establishment. The coffee is lovely and the people are splendid. And we've gone back around to Fantagraphics. Um, so what I might do, so what I might do in a second, uh, so I'm not annoying the world, hello. What I might do in a second is just go on and get myself a coffee and warm my hands, and then we can decide what we want to do. Um, I've not asked anyone, I've not planned this. Uh, who's that? Uh, that is Meow Kitty Sakura saying, don't hurt yourself trying to show us that place. You know, for you lot, for you lot, you know I'd go above and beyond. I'm just more worried about um, uh, being that obnoxious twat on his phone around the entire town, so I'm trying not to stick it in anyone's faces. Uh, Tal says the town is oddly empty. Well, it is, what is it like, 1, 2 p.m.? It's 2.30, it's 2.30 on a Wednesday. So everyone is either at work or uh, not here. <laughs> Styling. Uh, that was a, a, a spiffy answer, I know. I think it's more that um, this just isn't the time of day when this place packs out. Like, it's mostly bars around here. It's mostly food places and restaurants. Like, yo... Now, who's that? I'm saying much love. Uh, all right. <laughs> I do love you lot. Uh, if I'm not able to, to chat with you, uh, this comments are moving very fast, and someone it keeps ignoring my no bits and no subscribers rule. <laughs> no donations as well. Don't, I will. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is quite, it is exceptionally quiet this time of day. But it's nice, like uh, a lot of the coffee shops in Seattle are just packed out with indie mother hubbards like myself working. So being an indie hubbard like myself working is kind of a hypo uh, hypocrisy. It's kind of a, actually a bit of a hypocrite to say that, but yeah. Um, Uh, Lizzie says, Will must be blind again. Caffeine says, it's me, it's caffeine. Aha. Uh, your, the deep red was a little uh, tricky to, to look at on my phone. So, yeah, I guess the decision is like, let me just prop you lovely folks down there. What do, what do we want to do? Because, like I said, I was... I was having a very bad night last night and it, the mood did not shift this morning. Like now I'm walking around, I'm outside, I'm hanging with you lovely folks. I've got a, more of a, a chipper grin on my face. So I guess it's a question of what do we want to do? Um, we've got a pinball place, we've got, I mean the pinball place is a mite loud. Um, what else we got? We've got pinball, we've got coffee. Uh, it's a little early for a pint, my friends, even with you lot. Um, who's that saying? The Artsy Post says, right, social obligations. Later, peeps, enjoying Will's makeshift walking tour. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's a lovely little part of 
it's a lovely little part of town and I don't know like it, it's taken a while but at least it feels like there's a little bit of Seattle that's mine like no one aside from Ket I knew came down here and Ket's not a drinker so Ket wouldn't go into the, the nine pound hammer of his own volition because why would you go to a, a, a kooky looking dive bar by yourself if you don't drink? Like that's, actually yeah, that would be a, a weird pastime. Might be good for people watching, you know what I mean? The, the pastime, not the show. Um, Dorchus is saying, how about a rematch with that sign? Yeah, I got my fighting glove on. And totally not my Will's recovering from breaking his hand glove. Uh, so who's that asking? Uh, Jay Cripps is saying, does the pinball have the Adams Family Machine? I think so. It's definitely had the Adams Family Machine. Now, my personal one, the one that I'm good at, is the Game of Thrones one, but that's another story. Um, everyone's just like, you shouldn't drink on stream, and then end up punching a stop sign. Yeah, but at least then we'd have like video evidence. But like one of those uh, Russian dash cams. <laughs> I can't blame anyone but myself. Uh, Bramp says, I don't go into kooky looking dive bars and I do drink. Ah, uh, Bramp, you're missing out. I, joking aside, like, I've made so many friends, like, a lot of the times when we go into the nine pound, it's rare for me to get to the bar without seeing people I know, and I like that. This is a little part of Seattle that's, it's mine. It's not from somebody else. Hey, BT! Uh, the internet's fucked, so I went on a walking tour. How are you? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've had, yeah, had a lot of friends in Seattle. Moved out, fact. Moved out here a year ago, you know that? I've been living in this town, said living. <laughs> I've been surviving in this town for a whole year. And my life is very different than it was when I came out here. But I don't regret it. I wouldn't have met all of you lot if I hadn't done it. <laughs> I wouldn't be yelling into my phone outside a coffee shop if I hadn't found it. It's, this whole bit makes me happy because this isn't something that someone dragged me to or a part of town that someone else was already had as their, their main haunt. This is, this is mine. This is ours. This is our little corner of, you know? The studio's up the road, by studio we mean Ket's house, though you should really, uh, I'll try and do like a little uh, visual showing of uh, the new setup because Ket has built us like the most cool kid setup. Like if it wasn't for the internet effect, it'd be super cool. And yeah. Yeah. So I've been thinking about this a lot and I'm sorry I to, to be a Danny Downer while I'm here outside the coffee place. I'll go inside and get coffee in a second. But yeah, when I, uh, let's get a bit more of the, the blue sky and the scenery. No, nope, wait, that's much worse. There we go, there we go. I think I have something to actually look at rather than my stupid face. Uh, that isn't the stop sign in question, but yeah. I, I mean, as you all know, I moved out here to work with friends. And honestly, of all of those people, most of them I'm still talking with. I don't know, I mean, Jesus, none of us, none of us are the same after this year, I'll tell you that much. But, but, I can't hate it. If, if I hadn't taken the job and then if I hadn't uh, detonated my entire social and personal life so spectacularly as the same time as losing my job, I wouldn't have found you lot. There's so many of you here that don't know me from the before times, and that's pretty heckin' cool. That's pretty heckin' cool. So here I am. It's December. I'm sitting on a coffee table in a small little Georgetown coffee shop, eyeballing a sign that says, greetings from Georgetown. Georgetown, I strokes it. I would be lying if I said that I had the 
the confidence in myself to do this ahead of time. I was cool. It was cool when I was like repping somebody else's game or when I was like showing off a brand or working for a company. I was happy to be the showman in the front of an idea. Welcome to the show. Let me show you the wonderful ways. But the idea of doing it for myself is terrifying. And then I just kind of did. Uh, Chiat says, Will sitting at this table and not ordering coffee gives me anxieties. All right, but I don't want to. I don't want to turn off the stream. All right, all right. What if? What if we just go quiet? Like I won't. I'll go get in and get a coffee, and I'll leave it. And you can get kind of like a, a nose eye view of Will. How does that sound? And maybe I'll go be uh, fiscally irresponsible and get a tattoo. Honestly, I'm talking that. That was a medical chopper. Bram says, uh, just pretend you're not streaming in pocket cam. All right, now the, okay, so first question is, do I go for my usual uh, behemoth of a latte uh, or do I go, uh, Shackle says no, tattoos are not impulse buys. So this is, a, this is a personal philosophy of mine, which is that tattoos develop their own stories and become a part of you. And not every tattoo is always one that you expect, but... Uh, Lizzie says, also, you have a picture waiting in your DM inbox when you have time. Uh, I won't be able to look at it until I stop streaming. You are literally all on the device. Oh, God, sorry. Uh, you are literally all on the device I have. Uh, Reflector says, ask if they have Death Wish coffee. You'll be up till this weekend. Uh, I, actually, the Death Wish stuff's really tasty. Um, so yeah, coffee-wise, uh, it'll usually be an inordinately large latte with more shots of coffee in, and I'll just make that work for a while. If I'm getting ink, I probably shouldn't inhale a bunch of coffee, but then again, I'm just, uh, I could just get some cheap lime work. Uh, but yeah, so jumping back, my personal philosophy on tattoos has always been like, yo, it's the, they develop their own stories as you, as you go through. I've got some drunken tattoos. I've got some impulse tattoos. I've got my whole feckin' back and my arm going. And over time, I've become kind of proud of them. The stories of getting them are as important as the art. At least, and that's my little humble opinion, yo. So, yeah. Uh, I could get a, oh, what do the locals call it? A mocha. They put chocolates in coffee, it's amazing. Uh, the Dreamer says, I'm going to have to modify my XCOM will. Why are you going to have to modify your XCOM will? Is he not handsome enough? <laughs> oh, Squad says yesterday was very funny. There's a couple of people putting some... Uh, some hang on. Oh, I've got to switch hands. Oh, I've got to switch hands. I'm getting called. Uh, there was a couple of people dropping some horrendous comments. Uh, and I kept just uh, diffusing them by being like, oh, were well, you talking about this redhead? Which was pretty funny. Um... Prolo's like, go big or go home. I mean... Blindfolder says, uh, I'd get a tattoo if my mum didn't say I shouldn't get one. Oh, well, I mean, blindfolded, it's... That's... That's your choice. Um, I... So when I got my first tattoo... <laughs> I've been planning it for ages. Uh, it was the first one, kind of like the setup of my arm. It's, it's weeb as heck. Um, but it's, there's a nice little story. There's a nice little story behind it, but um, at the, uh, it was a little, uh, it was a samurai house crest that I chose. And it belonged to this one guy who was just a pisshead and a fighter. And he did so well at both of these things that the, he was, uh, his family was legitimized and he was brought into the Mori clan. And then he did so well that he got his own piece of land and he was like, yeah. And then he got too big for his britches and he tried to overthrow the local lord and was killed. Moral of the story, do not let anyone try and tell you what you can and can't do, but maybe sometimes know when to call it. You know, maybe sometimes don't go too high too fast. So, night before. Uh, I've planned out this tattoo. You know, I'm 18 years old. I'm paying for it myself. Um, and my parents at the time, I can't remember, I think it was in re regards to video gaming, uh, gave me this huge lecture about how irresponsible I am and about how... 
you know, I wasn't taking responsibility for my life and I kept doing all these things. Now, my little sister, who was far too young to get a tattoo, um, had been bugging me and every time I'd responded with, look, wait till you're 18, do it off your own volition. I was being, you know, the good brother, if you will, because, you know, I had to wait, so should she. And also like, you know, getting a tattoo at, I can't remember if she was 15 or 16, like, yeah. Anyway, so I got this massive lecture from my parental unit. <laughs> so next morning I'm like, right, <laughs> listen, dear sister, we're getting ink. You wanna get a tattoo? We're doing this. And yeah, so she got a teeny tiny little heart tattoo. And um, uh, yeah, that was my little piece of rebellion. I've continued to get tattoos since then. And for the most part, every time I've gotten a large tattoo, something bad has happened in my life. So I'm trying to get lots of little tattoos and go from there. Uh, oh, I have a new person. And I do apologize that I haven't been as responsive as possible. It's really hard to read the text on this. Uh, uh, Via Parai says, since from Sweden, some asshole in a private jet. Um, since I'm from Sweden, uh, uh, when is an Englishman ever? Oh, oh, so Viking Blonde's a running joke. Well, it's not even a running joke. It was funny for 20 minutes. Um, TLDR, uh, it was a joke on being ginger. Uh, in the UK, a lot of people will say that they're not ginger, they're strawberry blonde. Because in the UK, it's quite common to have the piss ripped out of you for being a ginger. Um, so the joke was, nah, 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 mate, nah, I'm not, I'm not ginger, right? Right, I'm Viking blonde. And it was very funny for 20 minutes. And then I made my Twitch accounts and stuff like that. Um, anyway, several years later, I started using said Twitch accounts to stream full time. So that's how it happened. But yeah, so hang on, let me move around so I'm not putting this guy on blast because he did not sign up for it. Um, so yeah, I, I'm seriously considering some fiscal irresponsibility. And BT says, uh, I'm, uh, I'm will, uh, I'm will own, I will own up to the risking, the, ripping the piss out of my ginger friends. And rightly so, rightly so, BT, rightly so. I mean, with a lot of these things, I'm not saying that I condone bullying in any forms, but sometimes how you deal with things and how you learn to deal with these things is very much what shapes you as a person. We were talking about this a lot on the way back from Squad Says yesterday about like, you know, school bullying and things like that. Bullying sucks. And I'm not, I'm not, I've never been a strong bloke. So how does a noodly fucker like me survive the, you know, the, um, the English state school system? Well, a few things. One, I was faster than everyone else. So if someone gives me a shove in the playground and then turns around to his mates being like, yeah, yeah, I shoved him, now I'm going to swing. And there's a dotted outline where Will was, and he's like three fields over that way. It's pretty hard to punch a guy who's not there. Uh, also, social engineering's a lovely thing. Uh, my friend Carl Lillywhite, and we called him Tank, and he was a lovely bloke. Like, absolutely brilliant tempered. And a feckin' savant at motorcycle, um, like, engineering. Uh, his brother did um, motocross, uh, BMX riding. Uh, motocross, uh, not BMX, what's my brain now? Uh, motocross riding. And, uh, yeah. Wait, who did a sub thing? God darn it! Mm, mm, who is that? Prof Farnsworth with two months. Oh! God damn it! I can, I can barely see your alerts. This is why, okay, you are all forbidden from bits, subs, and donations. You are forbidden. It is forbid. Anyway, uh, so Cole was one of the most sweet-tempered blokes that I had the, the privilege and pleasure of knowing. But he was about 6'5 and two people wide. And I realised that you don't get bullied in school if you have a mate called Tank. God darn it, who's that? Isocrid, what the feck? Mm. Mm. <laughs> what <are> you fe <laughs> Prof Farnsworth, you can't tell me what to do! God darn it! Mm. Anyway, TLDR, no one bullies someone who has a six foot five best friend called Tank. So we made friends with Tank, and it was great. Uh, uh, blindfolded. Bullying is a bad thing, and the people who do it have problems themselves. They do, they do. And bullying is horrible, and those, you know, those emotional scars stay for feckin' years. How you survive it. How you survive it is up to you. If you get, like, 
you know, do you, do you fight back? Do you stand up? Do you internalize? Do you hide? Do you manipulate? Do you run? Like, these are all valid maneuvers. And I see you all caffeine with oi. Have a point later on me, you majestic mother hubbards. Let's get a tattoo. All right, well, let's, let's go. Uh, let's walk down the road. We'll chat to them, see if they can sneak me in. I'm going to go be fiscally irresponsible. Oh, hang on. Let me, let me turn you all around. Oh, there we go. I'll turn you all around because my hands get really cold. Do 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 uh, BT says, uh, I was never physically bullied, but I was verbally, uh, emotionally, and yeah, it was fucking awful. Also, BT, one of the interesting things was, because um, I think I was on the other side of, we were talking about this like, there was, uh, at least in the US and very much in the UK, there was a strong like anti-bullying movement that happened, which was a really good thing. Like, you know, no one wants to get punched. No one wants to have to worry about, thank you, motorbike, the, the threat of physical violence in their day to day. And you know, that shouldn't be the case in school systems. But what my friend was saying, and I didn't experience this, but when there was a real push to remove bullying in schools, the bullying just got more insidious, like more verbal, more emotional, more manipulative. You know, because kids are smart, they adapt fast, and they are fecking bastards. So yeah, God. Uh... <laughs> See, the prologue's like, I was bullied, but I was a smart ass. One time I managed to get a guy to punch himself in the face. That was a good day. Anyway, I, I don't want to... This isn't a topic I want to dwell on while talking with you lot, because it's a fecking hard one to talk about. I don't wish it upon anybody, and the fact that it's a thing that does happen, it's really crappy and shite. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh sorry about this. i to keep swapping hands and let the other one warm up. Yeah, kids are assholes. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, so Kandaran says, yo, where are you going? I'm going to walk up to a tattoo parlor and I'm going to see if they're going to tattoo the uh, Longship logo on my arm. I'm going to get it right next to the emote. I'll just get the black outline so that might be cheaper and then I can add color to it later. That's what I'm going to do because I am not going to let a miserable mood stop me. Because, yeah. Uh, I went to the dark place last night. No one wants to go there. And I know that seems insane to say that even though it's windy and cold and this is not the video gamey stuff that you all signed up for, and it's just me walking around fecking Georgetown, waffling on at you. Uh, I know it seems weird to talk about that stuff, but yo, it's just, Oh, what was, uh... Oh yeah, Navala saying I was bullied a little bit too much for being a nerd. Not too much, unfortunately, as it helped us as tallest in class. Yeah. My mum always used to say, school is something you survive. And I think there's something to that. Like, I... <laughs> I learned how to be a right little shit. And I despised... Oh, oh the sun, it's right in my face. Uh, I despised uh, writing work with a passion being dyslexic as all hell. So I learned how to either get out of it, get around it, or get past it. Uh, Spiller says, uh, the flavor that they experienced was predominantly exclusion all the way up to parent level. Ah, uh, Spiller, man. I'm, uh, sorry, I apologize for assuming. Um, Spiller, I'm sorry, yo, because that sucks. Uh, yeah, that's, that's one that yeah, and Chiat saying, uh, bullying can go, Ooh, sorry, I'm standing in front of someone. Uh, bullying can go too far the other way. And if someone is nice to me, I have to think carefully about my instincts as to some sort of, ah, oh, see it's, okay, but I think I know what you mean. Um, you know, for good and ill, these things stay with us. So, yeah. I mean, I am so happy for this generation that's growing up now that's basically had like Minecraft and now Fortnite and whatever, and like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The things that inspired me as a child and the things that I thought were amazing was also the shit that people would rip the fuck out of me for. I also forgive my swearing today. 
It's cold and I'm outside, I'm allowed to swear. Uh... Oh, I believe this place just closed. Oh well. Uh, I don't know what... Whose dog is that? Who's... Who's dog? Uh, hello. Are you a famous dog? Hello. Hello. He looked at me! Now, I'm not going to go over and say hi, because that would be very rude. You should always ask uh, owner's permission, but yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, so, Canaran saying bullying is... Oh, terribly sorry stuff, terribly sorry. Uh, uh, see, this is the thing. I, 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 you know what? We'll, we'll put a pin in this conversation because a lot of you have some really, have some stories and have some feelings on this one and I don't want to dismiss them. Uh, using only this teeny tiny phone to talk to you all makes it very difficult, exceptionally difficult. Um, and there's some really heartfelt comments and I'm getting like the first couple of lines as they speed past. So, you know, what I will say is that that shit stays with you and it fucking sucks, but we are all who we are in spite of, not because of. You know what I mean? Oh, wait. Oh, I should have got a coffee. I'm really cold. Not, uh, my hands are really cold. I'm fine. Uh, she had saying, uh, we're all nerds here. I'm sure we're experts in getting bullied. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I want to, let's go back to the positives. The, pos the positives are that, you know, there's this whole generation growing up beneath us who will have nerd culture, video games, all the things that we love and all the things that matter to us as part of their day-to-day. -day. Like, even, like, those of us that don't have kids, we're going to be responsible for supporting them and teaching them to be better. Nerd culture is now everybody. Hang on. I was reading some lovely uh, stats today in the UK that um, uh, that young teenage lasses are more likely than young teenage boys to get into uh, esports as an absurd. Hey, help. see, people are so cool here. Um, anyway, I'll I'll dig it up. Uh, there's an article on GI.biz where they polled uh, individuals in the UK of their involvement in esports, and it turns out the lasses have a a much larger representation, yo. And that makes me super happy. And that's not that there are less guys getting into it, but there's now this whole new wave. And that just wasn't a thing back in the day. Like, and partially it was because of how we were shown it, and partially it's because how we treated it. We didn't know better, but we'll be able to bring this whole new generation up with us. And it's gonna be so good, you know? The inclusivity of it, ooh, okay. So this place is some like severely, uh, this is like super wanky art house stuff. Like the, if you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it. Yep, that's a silver chainsaw. Dem boots. Uh, chains rearranged as a tiny python. Oh, oh, uh, hang on. Sorry, let me just cover those, uh, cover those artistic nipples there. I do apologize. It's time to get banned on Tumblr. Hey, I made a funny, but. Yeah, check out this place. Super, super shiny. Yeah. <gasps> the cube. The Herodron cube. Once lightly inserted into the urethra of one decad cane. Stay a while and listen. I mean, the game's fucking called Diablo 3. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody, I'm. Uh, this guy's harmless. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. I really do. I really do. Uh, so, uh, Eriman says uh, uh, you should get the boots. They look like they are made for walking. Oh my god! Like, I can afford anything from that store. I can't afford a fucking cup of water from that store. And I'm not complaining. Honestly, I'm, this is the most broke I have been in a long, long time, and I don't think I've been this happy. I've talked about that a lot, and I guess that's what I was getting to earlier. 
is even though this year has been a fucking cavalcade of chaos, I'm here. I'm happy. Uh, okay, so so this is the place in question. It looks like... All right, so I, I obviously can't show you anything in there because there is a person getting tattooed. So we have the option. Uh, I could go on in... Hmm. Okay. Uh, Derby Moon Moon says, uh, I'm broke, uh, but I get to be with my son. That's all that matters. Oh, Derpy, that's feckin' lovely, yo. I, I do often wonder what my life would have been like if I'd uh, ended up having a sproglet. Is this place open? I think it is. Oh. You know what? Uh, so this is the George Chan Liquor Company. And they seem, they seem pretty heckin' cool. I've not been in there and I'm considering going in for a pint. Now, the reason why I want to go in for a pint is they got free play SNES and Mega Drive. Uh, NES and Mega Drive, so, yo. Yo. But also, yo. Oh, uh, so what we got? Uh, I'm broke, but I get to, uh, oh yeah. Um, Spiller says, just you wait till your Twitch bits and subs pay out. Oh, sorry. Hey, um, when that happens, Spiller, that is going on me moving off of Get Sofa and uh, surviving in the, the best capacity that I can. So, <sighs> okay, so how can I do this? Uh, I could go in and ask about getting a long ship. Yeah, I could go in and ask about getting ink and then see about, but I really don't want to turn this off. Uh, I could sneak you in my pocket. What do you reckon? Sneak you in? Smuggle you in in my pocket like, hey, how's it going there? <laughs> uh, Chiat says, I'm super broke, but I managed to hide it for my kids. Uh, I scraped together coins. I took my son to Mackey D's. Way cool. And you lot with your happy families and stuff. That makes me, that makes me very happy to hear. It's bloody cold, I tell you that much. Um, so caffeine says pocket cam. Uh, Des says, how much battery does your phone have? Ha! Ah, external battery, my friends. I came prepared. All right, all right. So things are about to get real dark. I am gonna uh, sneak you into my, well, uh, someone's currently doing some consulting. So I'm gonna stand out here and chat a little bit longer. And sneak in. Uh, uh, and sneak on in. Ooh, it's a Japanese place. Uh, I'm just going around the corner at the moment because uh, uh, there was a last getting a consultation and uh, I didn't want to be that bad word. Uh, Bramp says, uh, get real dark, literally. Bal says, I uh, hope you don't have anything nasty in your pocket. You mean like this? A receipt for a French bakery? Dun, dun, dun. That's actually not that dark at all, is it? Bugger. I mean, it might have been. Do I need a... Oh, what I really need is to warm up a little bit somewhere. What's the... Kandoran? What the... Mm. Mm. Let's go play some retro games. Oh, but I really want to... Hmm. How to play this, how to play this. So what I need to do is talk to the receptionist. So I might put you lovely folks in my pocket. Then we'll go next door and get a beer and see if they can sneak us in today. And then we'll go from that. Oh yeah, and everyone's saying, no, this is what it must be like when uh, Holly felt like when he was on Lister's watch. Oh, you guys are gonna... It would be better if you could talk back to me, like, but there's no alert system. There's no alerts. Like pocket cam, baby. <sighs> alrighty, alrighty. So, I'm sneaking you all in my pocket, okay? And I'll let you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try and enunciate as best I can so that you can at least hear what I'm up to. All right, we're going dark. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Hello. I am doing very well, good sir. How are you doing? 
Um, I wondered uh, two things. Sure. One, would you have time for a very quick appointment today just for a small little line work thing on my upper arm? Let me see what you're thinking. Uh, I have to somewhat unfurl. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, the other thing is, yeah. uh, as you saw me chatting loudly on my phone earlier, uh, I have some lovely folks on Twitch who have been walking around with me today, as I usually do that as a day job, which okay. actually, it's the, the little logo that I'm getting today. Uh, and I wonder if it would be possible to just have my phone propped up and chatting with them whilst getting inked. I don't know if that's okay or if that's sure, not allowed. It's usually not a big deal. So. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see the idea you got. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to unfurl without... Uh, right. <laughs> bear with me all just a second. Uh, they're uh, looking at the inside of my pocket right now. <laughs> Lucky them. Yeah. Uh, as I saw you... Uh, Someone was doing a consultation over there, so I didn't want to... Uh, desperately trying to unfurl. So I've got that there. I'm yeah. just thinking about something like, yay big. Uh, just, and it's just baseline work. Yeah, the um, picture of that. I do, and it is on that. And I've just realized the level of ridiculousness that this is going to get to. <laughs> um, so uh, I don't know if there's a way I can do this. Uh, hang on. I'm just yeah. going to... Sorry, everybody. You're going to look right up my nose. Uh.